What's going on guys, Dino Gomez here from Dynamic 365 and today right now we are going to show you how to set up custom events inside Facebook Ads Manager using their new highlighting tool. It requires no technical expertise, that's the coolest part. Let's get into it right now. All right guys, so we're over here at my computer and Facebook keeps getting better and better and better. They keep making things easier and easier for us advertisers. And again, we're gonna walk you through how to set up custom events so you can track all these cool things that happen on your website, like whether somebody clicks on a button, whether somebody clicks to watch a video on your landing page or on your website. You can do all this without needing special coding or being some like crazy geek expert who can do that HTML stuff that I don't know how to do. All right, so here's what you do guys in your ads manager account. Right, you're gonna click on the hamburger, top left hand corner, all tools, and we're gonna go to pixels. All right, and so the very first step here, guys, right, is uh, we're gonna install the pixel on our landing page, and then I'm gonna show you the cool new highlighter tool that Facebook is providing to us that allows us to track custom events super, super easily. Uh, and this is just uh, awesome, awesome for somebody who's not tech savvy at all. All right, um, all right, so what we're gonna do here is just click on set up pixel, okay. And the first part of this is gonna be kind of like similar to what you guys have maybe have seen in the past. Um, but what we're gonna do is click on manually install the pixel code yourself. All right, and it's gonna give us right down here, we're gonna copy our pixel code, okay? Now I build my landing pages in ClickFunnels, so I'm gonna sneak on over to my ClickFunnels account. All right, here's the landing page funnel I have. I'm gonna go over in, into settings, all right? And this is where we drop off the, the Facebook pixel code so that it is automatically on every single page in our funnel. So right here under head tracking, I'm just gonna push paste. All right, and so now I got pixel code in there. I'm gonna scroll to the bottom and push save and update. All right, so now we have the actual um, Facebook pixel on our website uh, or on our landing page. I can go over here and click on our landing page. Now right now using the Facebook pixel helper, it's not showing that there's a pixel, right? All I need to do is refresh all right, and then we're gonna see that light up green, which means we have the P Facebook Pixel installed correctly. All right, so boom, all of a sudden it's lighting up blue and green. Now we have the Facebook Pixel installed correctly. I just installed it on ClickFunnels, right? All right, so we're gonna go back into our um, Ads Manager account here, and we're gonna push Continue, all right? Now here's where it gets cool. This is the new thing that Facebook introduced uh, that make is making it super easy for us. We want to click on use Facebook's event setup tool. All right, so we're going to click on that guy. All right, it's going to ask you for the, the website URL where you're going to want to track events. So I'm just going to grab the URL here of our landing page and I'm going to paste that in here. All right, and I'm going to click on open website. All right, and let's see, we'll give Facebook a moment here, but it's going to open, uh, it's going to open that same landing page and in this example this is actually a thank you page but it's going to open up the same page for us here and then we're going to get this cool pop-up and facebook's literally going to walk us through um, how to set up the pixel so uh, we're going to click on next all right it says navigate through your website to track events that map to your customer's journey this is just so cool if you have an e-commerce store right you can click you can track when people click add to cart. You can track when they click on a product image. If you want to see what they're doing on the page, all this cool stuff you can measure. Uh, it's great for local lead generation, which is what we do a ton of over here. And what I mostly teach to our students is, is, is how to do this for local businesses. Um, so we're going to push next again. All right, and it's kind of just showing you. You can highlight buttons you want to track, all this cool stuff. We're going to push get started. All right, and so here we have this little pop-up from Facebook. So we get to decide what we want to track. Do we want to track uh, visits to this URL? Do we want to track a new button? I'm going to click on track new button. All right, and then Facebook says, click on a highlighted button to set up your event. All right, and so as we scroll down, here's a button. All right, and this button is on a thank you page. Okay, so somebody's already opted into this local business. And now we want them to click this button to give our client a phone call, to place a phone call to our client. So we want to track that. We not only want to track how many leads we're generating for our client, we want to track how many phone calls we're getting them, right? That is the, the ultimate way to prove ROI to a client. Here's how many phone calls we generated you beyond just getting the, the lead information. So I'm just going to click right here. Facebook already knows this is a button, so they've already highlighted it, but I'm going to click because that is the event we want to track. All right, now Facebook's gonna ask us to set up this event. We're gonna select the event here. Is this a lead? Is this a purchase? 
uh, is this initiate checkout and add to cart those would be for e-commerce stuff we are going to see complete registration a contact a schedule search start trial submit application we are going to do which one closely resembles this we're going to do contact because at this point somebody is contacting our client all right we're going to push confirm and boom that is now set up so we're going to get data now for how many people not only opt into our funnel you know and become a lead for a client how many people place a phone call click to place a phone call now again if you really want to get into this guys you can do call tracking here to see how many legitimate phone calls came through but to have this data inside Facebook opens up worlds of opportunities and possibilities. Now we can create lookalike audiences from people that don't just become a lead, but that actually become a lead and place a phone call, right? So this is why using event tracking is so powerful is it gives you the opportunity to create more lookalike audiences from people who took further actions on your website and optimize and run conversion campaigns uh, for people that are doing these specific actions. Like maybe you want, maybe on the thank you page, you have a video and you want to track people that watch that video because anybody who watches that video is more likely to like become a customer. You can track and do optimize your campaigns for things like that. So this is really cool guys. Um, that we can do this like this. Uh, I'm just going to push finish setup. You could te technically add additional uh, events if, if you wanted to here, but that's the main thing we want is that is that phone call. Uh, let me see. I have to keep this video short. I'm just going to push finish set setup. Okay. And, and boom, it's going to confirm. Here's the events you have on this page, right? And you're just going to push finish. All right. And, and then, yeah, Facebook's asking you, what do you think about this experience? Because again, this is a new, new to them at, at least at this point in time five stars this is awesome technology thank you facebook continually develop the ad platform there's so many cool things that are coming guys um this is just super awesome so the last step it says your event is set up you can test the event all right and it's going to ask you right down here to open the website and so i'm going to open the website again and i'm going to click on that button and we're going to make sure that facebook is tracking this correctly all right, come down here. I click on the button. All right, and so that's in there, and I'll just close that down. Uh, but again, now it says it's receiving activity. So again, the event tracking tool is, is working that we just did. The contact that anybody who places a phone call. All right, and so really, really, really cool stuff, guys. Uh, that is basically the Facebook highlighter tool and how to set up custom events without needing any any custom coding. Uh, and so this is something you need to take advantage of it. The more data you give Facebook, just remember the more data you give Facebook, the more custom events you set up like this, the more Facebook really can understand the types of people and the types of actions people are taking on your website, allowing you uh, to get have better results with your custom conversion campaigns where Facebook knows exactly who to target uh, who most likely is going to take a similar action. All right, so there you go. There you go, guys. I hope this was helpful. All right, so there you have it, guys. Facebook continues to make it easier and easier for advertisers to go out there and do cool things and get results without being technical. It's absolutely awesome. And if you guys want more cool training, tips and tricks to how to make money online and crush it with Facebook ads, other cool stuff, be sure to hit the subscribe button, hit the bell so you never miss any of our upcoming videos. Otherwise, we'll see you guys in the next one and be sure to check out some of our other Facebook ad training that you'll see coming up right here in the end screen.